Yo, people, what's poppin'? Episode two. What's it called again? CBC cast. Yes. Yeah, shit. I haven't, I haven't even said hi to you two yet. That's how we just get straight into it. Then. Right, so that's straight into it. Hey, Tim, you're right. <laughs> yeah, how's it doing? You're right. I also just don't care what Tim's got to say, so it's just one minute. But we can do we can do that now. How are you, Tim? Yeah, I'm not bad about you. Yeah, sound sound is good, that does. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the answer. I had to contemplate. Um, You're a bit tired. Yeah, after man, show day. Not bad. A bit tired after show day yesterday. Fucking hours knackered. I had a nap at the moment. Bro, I don't even know what it is about show day and why it's so tired. Do you think it's like just the mental mental thought? fatigue? I mate. think I think we care so much that it is like a day of crippling anxiety and hoping the best and wanting the best for an athlete, constantly thinking, what am I going to do next? What if it looks like this? What if it... I think we're constantly so on it that we drain ourselves to shit and then we've always got about five or six hours worth of travel as well. Yeah. Like, whereas I think if you just rock up and you do the same shit, you're not that bothered. I think it's probably, a, a, you know, even if you more so care about yourself, it's not like we care about ourselves as athletes. It's just like, oh, we're bothered about these athletes. Yeah. I think like, I was mentally taxed on the way to the show, mate, because, like, obviously with someone that you know is a really good athlete and client, like Ben, I can't, I can't, I can't fuck it up. Like I'm, just, and I force. I also think that, um, what's that saying? Making a rod for your own back by making mm. that deep week chat because the pressure. I was going to ask about that. How did you find that? Because I know what you're like. You hold yourself to a standard where it's like. I've got to make sure I nail it. Plus, as well, the pressure that you're putting yourself, plus the extra 100 and what, 30, 40, 50 people that were in the chat asking questions, why are you doing this, mate? Why are you doing this? How do you find that? Like, even even on the way down, like I've always noted Tim, I was just like, just like reconfirm, like, like I'm going to do this <laughs> at this point. Just because oh, my head was going, man, because I was just like, this has got to go well. I think the fear for me with Ben, just from the feedback he's given me before, is that he's always been like flat on stage and stuff and he just didn't want that again so I just went to all oh fucking hell I actually think and Ben will be listening to this I hope anyway I actually think I went too hard with the lows yeah. Mm. Yeah. because I just I if he came to me saying I felt flat up there I would have been fucking fuming but at the same time it wasn't so much that he'd spilled I do think he lost a little bit of detail in the overall yeah it's gone as a bleak but Bleak and like lower black a little bit. Yeah, but when you know I think you've got like a you know you know in brimmed, like open super fucking brimmed, so you can just rein it in and you know what works for the for the re, for the region of the profile. Like it's yeah. called the <laughs> you know we've got the limit now. Two jars, maybe one and a half jars of jam and only six rice cakes would be like spot on. Well, I was trying to work it out earlier. Like we, he probably did like a thousand gram of carbon space of like three hours. Yeah, when he'd only done three thousand gram of carb across three days. Yeah, <laughs> but it Brilliant. worked because I mean, it, you know, his initial showing for his class, you know, and bro, it was only like an hour late. He was on again. I think to be honest, he just he needed to calm down. But yeah. when he came off, and he was like, bro, I. I was, I was finished posing. I could barely move. Like I was that pumped. I think, yeah, maybe went a little bit overboard with it. But at the same time, when you when you're watching who's on prep, yeah, when 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 you're when you're watching someone putting carb and they're just getting better, it's like, yeah. oh, keep doing that. His face was like, and his body was like, <laughs> yeah, he he filled man like he was full. So I think. This and like I said, it was a, it was a trial peak for him essentially, just to see. And you know, the feedback I've had from Ben has just been like it was perfection. I think I can get it better for this week going forward. So we are going to sprinkle a bit of um, pharmaceutical diuretic in the background, a bit of aldactone for three days, um, and probably not as be as aggressive with certain things. Leading to that, so just a little bit sharper for it, but it'd be nice to see him up against uh, no disrespect to the overall winner, bigger guys. I mean, I think Ben had about 25 kilo on him, yeah. 
So we can, we, we'll bring it up, actually. Hold on. But the uh, overall winner just embodied DCA men's physique. In my opinion. Yeah, all day. And, and all day. also a deserving winner. Like I'm Oh, not... yeah, for sure. He looks really, really good. But like you said, the data that you've gathered on this peak, um, it can only get better because you know, obviously, you can just pull down a little bit. You'd rather be seeing him fully brim rather than being like, what? what is it actually being full? What, okay, we need more. We need more. We need more. So you'd rather, obviously, for the trial, do like load too much and then... Um, pull back, but um, like just fucking blasting. I mean, that is retarded, mate. It's back, back is stupid, but yeah, like so crisp, dug out, full as a house. But yeah, probably spilled over a touch into the uh, into the night show. <laughs> Prejudging and finals. Uh, but yeah, super happy. And actually, whilst we're on it, we'll go on to P PCA. PCA pulls down. 60 second pulls down. <laughs> oh, the guy's good. Yeah. You know, the, thing is, the thing is with Ben, he doesn't have the smallest waist in the world. And then you put him next to a guy that hasn't got a waist at all. Mm -hmm. I, give that kid, I give that kid credit as well. He actually looked better in person than them photos. He looks way better in person. He looks really, like he looks better than that, doesn't he? In person, he looks yeah, one hundred percent. There he is. I think he looks better than this video. I mean, I don't know what that is, but I love when people do that. They give like a, a slide tackle. It's... Yeah, to be fair, like I think watching these videos, if you just watch the videos, you'd probably say Ben's the winner, but in person, nah. The, the lighting on these videos is atrocious as well. In it, yeah, it's way too bright. Washes them out. Way too bright. Yeah, Ben's a bit. Ben, ben, what the the winner exposed Ben's flaws. Yeah, but Ben won't come up against realistically anyone like that within the two bros NPC circuit because they're all fucking bigger. Yeah, yeah. They're all way bigger. So Look, Ben's, got... Ben's, Ben's physique is NPC. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you come up against someone that's smaller but with a mental waist, and PCA love that. Yeah. But you won't come up against someone who's 71 kilo in the NPC. True. So, although, you know, Ben's not got a big waist, but because he's a big guy, it's bigger than his. Yeah. Yeah, true that. True that. True that. Um, yeah, it was good, man. Yeah, if you see the next feature there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. He was good. Great smile as well from the lad. It would be it would be fucking Jace's guy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sanders. <laughs> his fucking erectors as well into his lats were not even like he's really relaxed. Who? The overall winner. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was good. And the most important thing, like Ben fucking loved it up there, which I don't think he ever has. <laughs> so, well, it's but, his first win, isn't it, in four years? Yeah. Since doing it. So, fair play. Yeah. But that was a good show, too fair, wasn't it? Yeah, decent. Aziz, Aziz looked as Aziz does. Um, He's fucking... It, the most muscular he hits, hands on hips, is just fucking mental. I mean that is crazy. Classic guy, very good. Who won the overall? Isn't it? Yeah, he's really Was he just more conditioned than the rest? You reckon, or like what? I've not really looked at it to be honest, but uh, we'll go on to his uh, thing. He was he good. Was, he was pretty skinned. Yeah, he looked sharp, but I just I haven't seen him more compared. You see, that's the first time I saw it. There, there he is. That's yeah. obviously with PCA filming. Yeah, he looks really good to be fair to him. Coached by Riz, the engineer. Lovely. Great guy. I think it might have been the second time actually I ever met him. Yes, that is a great guy. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah, he looks good. For sure. But bodybuilding classes, I mean, there wasn't a bodybuilding short, which is annoying. 
There was bodybuilding medium, which was four in, and the bodybuilding tool, which was a one in. Oh, um, shame. And obviously, Ben Ben Featherstone took the medium. Um, what I would say is, I'd like to see Ben in a in a actually stacked show, not not taken away from the people he was against because it was a good class. Like this guy, he was second, great physique. I just I'd like to see Ben in a, in a stacked class. Yeah, of like really really high standard and a lot of them. Um, so that'd be good to see. It. I'm pretty sure he's planning on doing more and more shows. Standard Ben. Um, so yeah, and actually, Tim, whilst we're on here, Mark, is there any sense of Marco? Best he's ever been. Yeah, he looked really good. This line's horrible. He's uh. I had him second. I thought it was unfair. He came third, but the winner he obviously lost to the overall winner. But yeah, he looked mega. You know, eight weeks out from his main show, okay. six kilo up on his last show in in probably four or five kilo sharp. To be fair, yeah, and, this, uh, this is not mental. Doesn't do him justice at all. And to be fair, from a contrast perspective of like he was fucking full and brimmed. Yeah, and. For a contrast perspective of just like peaking two athletes, Ben had yeah, this is who came second. Yeah, which I'm not like I'm not gonna throw shade and disrespect. The guy's yeah. got physique, but he, he could pull off ten pounds. Yeah. yeah, he could be a lot sharper. But I think that yeah, but PCA, you know, just went for a little bit of a similar look. Marco again is not blessed with the smallest waist, etc. But like Marco and Show they had sub hundred carb. Yeah. Ben had a thousand. Yeah, it's so well, like, for the comparison of peaking two different physiques completely with a both a really full tag look, like it goes to show what someone can handle and the other one can't. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. But this is why it'll be interesting to do more group chats and more to do with different. Hey, the, the, the response was overwhelming on my story as well of everyone saying yeah to to do. Yeah. I think we should do it. Yeah, for sure. But we say not to. People we get up, obviously, yeah, it's not just the same protocol every single time, is it? So, no, and I had Al Dacto running the back with Marco as well, which you're going to use this time around, which worked really well. You want to run through the, your protocol for that with him? Um, yeah, we just started on his actually second carb load day because I carb load him a little bit earlier. Um, and I ran really three really moderate days, and I just had 25 in the morning, 25 in the evening. Started from the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then 25 May a.m. on Sunday morning. Right. And then in terms of fluid and sodium, I just ad hoc really was just looking at it meal by meal on the Saturday and decided to pull it a little bit earlier Saturday evening just to shift Jurisis a little bit more. Um, again, I'd Pete Max with every meal on Saturday as well. Yeah. Saturday was carb in the morning and then pro fat to, to all throughout the evening and then we woke up and pro fat until pre stage when we put some carbs in with, with, with some more yeah so I saw Christian you put how how many carb meals did Ben have Saturday? Is two it... servings. Yeah two C hours it no oh what sorry sat the day before the show. Yeah. Yeah his first two meals were carb. Yeah that was it yeah. I about... always prefer that. Two fifty two fifty yeah, just yeah. to try and actually see some spill. Yeah, I think uh, it's always good seeing some spill. And these spill about was it like three pm, four pm, mid afternoon ish. Mm. Marco spilled every day, bro. <laughs> Hundred carb in and he's gone. That's mad. He said he's that was a tough peak. Seriously, to say it was the first ever time I peaked him, it was a tough peak. Um. But it worked out well. But yeah, I was like ad hoc in fucking pro fat meals on carb loading days. I was like, like he was like I sent Christian a photo, like his hamstrings were getting better, they were digging out, his upper back was getting better, and there was just pools of fluid above his shorts on his lower back that was just getting worse and worse and worse. Um so yeah. Mm. So who have we got up next? You got anyone this weekend? No, my next show is Josh and Jesse over in Florida in four weeks. Sick. You going out? Mm-hmm. That'd be sick. 
we're going out the week before. So we're in Tampa for two days. Then we go down to, I don't know where it is, Port something further down in Florida. And then we're going to go to New York for four days on the way home. That'd be decent. That'd be fast, mate. Making rack up steps around New York. Easy uh, steps. Easy steps. Easy step, I mate. New Pretty York. <laughs> Castellan. And then I've got, then I'm flying into Heathrow on the Thursday and then we're going straight to Wales for PCA Wales. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. A couple of heavy hitters in that. Thank you. For who I, for someone I can't name who's in the show, who we know. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to just do it now? <laughs> X weeks out. X weeks out. X weeks out. I'll tell you what, I'm surprised I'm surprised I haven't seen that slogan from the Rhino yet. What X weeks out? X weeks out. Does he love, does he love an does he love an X weeks out? Please? If he says it, I'm dropping him. So Lou, <laughs> like you're you're on your own if you say that. Mate, he sent his post workout shots. That front's coming quick. He looks mental. Yeah. I'm and like, I've said to him so many times, like, you don't realize how good and big he now is. Like, it'll take a big, big boy to 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 beat him in class one. Like, he's mad. How much is he weighing now? He was 237 this morning, new low. Which I think is surprisingly light for how I was going to say, he looks way bigger the, than that. The thing that shocked me, to be fair, seeing Louis, because I've seen Louis in person a few times, but the last time I saw him, what, week and I'm like, last week ago. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, last week. Um, He's got, he's yeah, got thick skin. skin. It didn't look thick. No. Not from the front? No, from the back it is. From Stand the back, it's just, he just holds more body fat, but from the front, his abs and quads, and like top line. Very thick. full, and it looked, it looked somewhat dry. <laughs> um, So he just had a bit of a feed up. Uh, was it... That that week, um, and since uh, to be fair, the whole prep, I don't think there's been a day where, apart from when I fed him, there's not been a day where he hasn't lost weight. It's every day he loses weight, and I think obviously from seeing his preps in the past and stuff like that, you know, I think he struggled to nail it and stuff like that. I've genuinely found it incredibly easy. And that's not me but fucking blowing smoke mouths. I just think, I don't know whether it's the trust he's got in me. I don't, I don't know, but it's just like every day, he's checking three times a week at the minute. It's, every day is lower and better. And uh, man, if that comes off just right, it, yeah, it'd, it'd be hard to beat him. It'll be a good look for sure. And then Rosie's, Rosie Bailey's also doing that show. She's doing two bros. She's doing two bros day before as well. So that'd be fun. Back to back. That'd but again, you know, she's, you know, if that's not fucking sword worthy in the female category, I'd mental. I'd be, I'd be mental. very surprised. But at the same time, I never say that. It's like yesterday when people are, like, oh, Ben's getting sword, Ben's getting sword. I'm like, don't say that. Mate, that irritates the life out of me. I know, man. So, but irritating. what I would rather say is what I just said then about Rose, like, that's the potential to win a sword. It's got the potential to win yeah. it 100%. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't know who the fuck is turning up. No, and you don't know what they want or how exactly. they want to each other. Like, just, I never tell a client they're going to win either. Even if um, they're like, God, it's like, we're going for the win, but we don't know who fucking is going to turn up because you guarantee there's someone who's more of a freak and they could show up. Yep. It does my head in when they do turn up. Yeah, I know. Fuck them. <laughs> God's sake. Um, so that, that'd be a good weekend. You know, fucking good weekend. I've got a few yeah, people I think I've got another couple of people doing that show as well. Um we've got Ireland this weekend. Yeah, that'd be sick. Right. Um, that'd be great. Ben, that'd be cool. I'm also trying to link up, I hope she's listening to that with Michaela, who is my women's physique hopeful. Um She's really fucking good. I'll actually bring her up on screen. She'll hate me for it, but it doesn't matter. Is this the two brothers, you say? Yeah, uh, I think she's doing race strip rumble. Uh, bear with. 
I'm trying to find pictures that she wouldn't mind me sharing. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll just let that load. Uh, she's fucking sick. It's been a weird prep, for sure. You know, she'll admit that. Uh, she hasn't been on stage for a very long time. And she's digging. She's digging hard, but she's also not doing any cardio now. Every time Michaela does cardio, her weight goes up. Every time. Yes, Michaela, join the club. But she also got a lot of the digging done at the start, which, which does help. Tom, you do anything and your weight goes up. I know, mate. <laughs> goes into a deficit, weight goes up. Weight goes up, mate. Goodness me. There's just so many pictures because we're fucking on it every day at the minute. Well, this was nine days ago. And my reaction was, what the fuck? You're actually nearly ready. Uh, and her response was, I cried four I felt I cried four times today. <laughs> Feel miles away. But she's she's one of them man. It's like she would eat shit. It doesn't matter. She'll do anything, but she just does not see like that she's actually good. Yeah. yeah. She's very fucking good. Hold on, here we go. No. Share screw. I mean, the side leg and glute is wild. And this was is she, not... from... Is she from Ireland? Yeah. I mean, they're built different over there, bro. This was oh, nine man. days ago, and she's four pounds down since that. Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Pods are a joke. I'm pretty sure that's also post legs. <laughs> yeah. Just, very good. Very good. Very looking. Um, I can't, like, I literally can't wait to get on stage because... I just know how happy she'll be. <laughs> When's the when is the race at Rumble? Eight weeks. Yeah. Mm, so I know it was in the fame games ten. Well, ten yesterday or ten Saturday. Just check her sheets. Two six. Five weeks. Oh, was it five weeks? Yeah. Oh so yes. Yeah, it's, oh. it's the week before the PCA Wales. Mm. Oh, okay. should be my should be my next one then I think. Yes, we've got the same way. Yeah. The Brum. Mental. No, yeah, Austria. After that, and then Michaela, then Louis, Rosie, a few others as well. So it's gonna be fun. It'll be difficult for uh, Rosie. It's gonna be a different peak for Rosie, for sure. Because uh, with her pots and stuff, she has to use like um, she won't care about me saying um, like what they called lax laxatives. Mm -hmm. You you don't want to do that and manipulate fluid. No, <laughs> I'll probably just do a taper. To be fair, <laughs> Lo load up load up a bit and then just gradually get less and less. Mm -hmm. The the thing mm -hmm. for her is just. For her pick, it's just going to be bringing down fatigue because she fucking holds a lot of it. She's on point. She's looking on track. So that, that'd that be fun. But yeah, hopefully going to see Nick Kayla in Ireland and link up at the show. If we can see her in person. So that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I actually need to book the flights. That, that would help as well. Would, would help. And actually, I want to shout out Ben as a client because he sent me an Airbnb invite link so he booked as an Airbnb. What, what a G. Now, shout out Josh. He's booked and paid for my week in America as well. My Airbnb. Great clients. Mate, what a guy. Yeah, I know. I'm going to pay for my flights, obviously, but to get out there, he's got me Airbnb. He got me making Airbnbs and Airbnbs at the place. Like, yeah. Go yeah, ben, ben, ben didn't know yet, but I'm just going to send him the invoice for the flight. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that rule. <laughs> Uh, PCA France got that as well soon, seven and a half weeks. PCA France, who got that? Nathaniel, Nathaniel, yeah. Here you go. We had a good, we had a good bit of a sit down chat together today, to be fair. Um, again, you another... huh? You over? Yeah, I'm gonna go over. Yeah, I think anyway, I think I'm going. Um, another weird prep, barely lost any weight and has gone from fat to fucking pretty, you know. He looks a good five or six weeks out of the minute. So it looks really good. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been different, but it's uh, another one he has to he does have to dig. 
Big I've, got the, um, I've got a few pieces of Germany as well. Yes. Um, which will be really cool. That'll be good. Be interesting to see what that's, that's like being the first ever one. I'll get that. It's relatively busy. I can see it being busy. Huh? Are they going to put something on that they know it's not going to be busy? Surely there's hype generating in Germany for them to say, let's do a German show. They ain't doing stuff. I mean, very, look- very sick and shit like that. I think it, I think it, it's, it's a pro qualifier as well. It's not a finals when it's a pro qual- PCA pro qualifier. Look at look at uh, PCA Naturals, first one there is. That's what I mean. Mental. Fucking foot, wasn't it? Like 300 odd competitors. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Crazy good. That'll be even better next year as well. The thing is, if you're not chasing a regional qual needed for a pro qualifier, like why wouldn't you do PCA now? Because it's so good. It's so much better. I, I think collectively the standard across the year is better at PCA than it is two bros. But then you, sure. got, you, get, you get your, your guys and girls that are wanting to turn IFBB pro turn up to two bros, and then the rest is just. Eh. But PCA across the board is just fantastic amateurs across every single now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they're just well ran out there. The, the, like, the, in fact, the, even the, the atmosphere, the crowd's always better. Yeah, because fucking is it um, Stephen, the Scottish guy? What on loves show? it, loves it. He's yeah. class, to be fair. I just, I just love doing impressions of of uh, Ryan Alexander, mate. I could do them all day long. Cannons, <laughs> you know, when he gets the fucking cannons to go over in the background for the pictures. Cannon, Stephen. <laughs> so good, mate. And that, yeah, that Stephen guy is just fucking great. I just wait for any any client that's a, any competitor that's first name begins with R. Robert, get up there, bro. It's just fucking comical, man. I love him. But yeah, bro, you go to any PCA show. It's literally it 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 looks like the show the week before. It's the same every time. I do. I, they've got to do something with the video, though. I agree. You think what? They've got to do something with the videos. The pictures, great. The videos, yeah. the reels, just, I don't know what it is, man. If you look relatively on in a PCA reel, you are on. <laughs> they make everyone look soft. Mm. It's annoying. But I don't know. I've got, I don't know what we can do about that, really, to be fair. But the photos are mega. Yeah, the ones Ryan takes are sick. Yeah. From, yeah, I love it. Love it. Um, Tom, what we got on coming up? Mate, so I obviously had that that photo shoot client meet up on Friday. So Victoria's photo shoot, Joey T, who looked pretty good to be fair to him. Hey, good man. Um, and then had an in-person check-in with Tom, who is currently eight weeks out from FT5, first time as five. He's on the money, which is always good. Um, um Mickle Mick Wright. Wright, tall guy, glutes. Yeah. glutes yeah. Um, saw him, so that was good. And then today went up to obviously Ultraflex, um, Ultraflex Rotherham. Uh, saw Joey, saw Shaw, got plans in place for those two, which is very exciting. And then... Oh, well, Saw me as well. Yeah. Saw, saw Tim. Saw Tim. I don't want to give it. I mean, I don't want to give too much away. But um, saw saw Tim. Um, training push with the boys, and then I'm going up to. Am I, miss, am I missing something there? No, nah, mate. We, we both we met at Rotherham today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was it. No one That was it. Oh, I thought you, you said I don't want to give too much away. That's the thing. I don't. That's what I went with, Josh. Oh, right. I went with Josh and I went with Josh. So, um, and then I'm going up to Scotland very soon, seeing um, seeing the Scottish boys, seeing Lewis, seeing Logan. Josh. Josh Yes. He's looking pretty good, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he looks wild. He looks looks about X weeks out. It's it's a bit of a mad improvement phase, man. I can't lie to you. Keep pushing food up and food up. And uh, getting leashed. Sharp, bro. But he's looking mega. Yeah, but um, now seeing the um, get going up to Scotland very soon as well. Got that planned. Seeing Logan, seeing Scottish clients, which would be decent. 
and I'm going to go see Henry very soon at the coach. So I'm getting that planned over the next week. So we'll be when down go, there. When you go to Scotland, tell Calvin is a prick woman. <laughs> so I think he's away. I'm not seeing him. I miss he's the away guy. I miss that guy. Mate, he's an absolute legend. Legend. He's coaching Charles now, isn't he? Yeah, man. Coaching Charles now. Coaching Charles. So, um, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> You are you are Mr. International. You can't meet up to the minute, mate. It's just got to be done, mate. I mean, man, Tom, Tom's putting me in tin to shame. <laughs> You're really killing it with him. Um, but I'm just going through this phase, mate, where I'm just trying to be here, there, and everywhere. So, um, but yeah, like I said, going up to Scotland, seeing Lewis, seeing Logan, seeing Dan, seeing all the Scottish clients there, getting this little Scottish meetup going. Um, got Henry who is coming pretty quick so I'm going to see if he can do an earlier show because his planned show was PCA London he won't mind me saying that um, he wants PCA London to be his, like, his last show so if we can get a couple in before that so we're looking at Midlands maybe Yorkshire so yeah, it, we're doing it's decent common, and... common, trait, common trait of Tom Taylor's clients get ready early yeah get ready early we've got Lloyd um, I'm going to see him next week he is ready early I'm going to do a practice peak with him then I'm going to bring him down to intent see where he's at and then if he can get into an earlier show we can do because BMBF is on but they don't do men's physique they do like men's athletic or something so yeah that's what Dylan will yeah not really it's not really ideal but he's How set many out how have you got left this year I'll say three but, but yeah Lloyd Lloyd Tom and Henry Um, that's that's it but hopefully I'm, I've got a feeling that a few are going to cut them out might get a few more. We'll see. What? Um, um, quick, sorry to interrupt. But it's just reminding me of something. Now you met, mentioned that category. Was it PCA that used to do muscle model? Yeah. yeah. I was actually speaking. Do you remember? Do you know Eddie Chip? Yeah. Eddie used to compete. Like Tom Coleman used to do muscle model with Eddie Chip. Bro, you know who also did it first as well? Like from where I saw it from, Scott Swench. Yeah. Yeah, in the, the book, in the like uh, the little tiny swim trunks. Oh, it's like the little speedos that <laughs> Scott, yeah. if you're, Scott, if you're listening, big swench gang, which you are definitely not listening, I'd pay big dough to see you do a comeback again. Ridiculous rig. Last show in he worked with Joe Jeffrey, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. man. And, and but... Troy, man. Troy, great rig, man. Mm-hmm. I agree. Both of them ridiculous. Yeah. And like Troy was one of those ones that's like four weeks into prep, ready. Yeah, change rapid. Change so quick. I mm-hmm. don't... But yeah, got got a busy few months on, mate. I think I've got something booked every weekend until October 16th. Good lad. That's what we like. So to got photo shoots any, coming up. Any young aspiring coaches out there that are like looking to get on board a team or looking to just like expand their coaching stuff, like watch what Tom's doing. Do you know what I mean? It reminds me of me two years ago, three years ago. It means a lot because, like I said, it's um, I'm going up to Scotland, getting like a videographer, paying for an Airbnb, just to see him for like a day. And like it doesn't, they think, oh, it's great, but it means more to me seeing them. So it's like a way of going up to see them. And also um, just being here, there, and everywhere. And all, all, yeah. always being seen. Yeah, always. But it's, yeah, man. It's just, it's, it is about it's, that. Yeah, it's about that. From a business perspective, when even if subconsciously you're not doing it for that, it goes absolutely like you're just going to see clients because you love your clients, right? But being seen and always being seen, you're going to be in people's heads. Yeah, that's that the thing, man. It's that. I always say that it's like I fucking love helping people. Like I love it. Like that's my favorite thing about coaching. I just love helping people get into them to that point and stuff. And it's a byproduct. Like you're growing a business out of it. Sweet. Yeah. You know I mean? it's, cool. it's the best thing ever and yeah. then when you when you see when you go to Friday and you got like diet people down they go is that even me like how am I even looking mate honestly man like even even like, like my clients were there bro like Ben yesterday when he was just like mate like I can't actually believe that's me yeah like there's no better feeling no Stop. better feeling Um. also I'm sorry to just completely go off topic but it's because it's on one of my chats at the minute Conte Let's, I was going to say, let's just completely, gonna, let's completely missed over it. <laughs> are you going to announce on the pod? I'm going to say you're going to talk about the announcement. Yeah, don't use Tim Ten CBC Ten. Let's get it. Um, 
yeah, like just as like a thing to put out there. I was gonna do like a post on it, but at the end, at the end of the day, it's also fucking it's no one's fucking business at the same time. Um like there's no like bad blood with Strom, like Rick's still my best mate and stuff like that. It's just like it's trying to just me getting to a point of like differentiating like friendship and business, like mainly. Um and I, I just wanted something new, you know. I've been I've been with Strom for five years. And that's a long fucking time. And I just and I just with the way this is, business is going and stuff like that, I just think it fits the brand for sure. And you know, coach a lot of people in in that group and get on with everyone in that group and have friends in that group. And that's just feels, feel welcomed. Put it that way. Good group. Yeah, it's a good group. And I, I like what they're doing at the end of the day. Red circle. So, red circle. Yeah, Tim's the red circle, it. isn't it? It's the Tim, usual cold pay red circle. Tim, Tim's part of it. So that, that makes sense. And the, there might be, I don't know, there might be a third member joining. I don't know, bro. <laughs> who, who said that? Who said that? I actually who? And a fourth person actually as well. Yeah, the could the could yeah, there couldn't even be a fourth. Makes, makes, makes buzzing about it, so <laughs> good, to get, good to get her on board. <laughs> I was about to say before that, yeah, and she's well fit as well, man. <laughs> and you'd like Meg, I was like, ah shit. Uh, <laughs> she is, bro, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Meg don't need a sponsorship because she cans all my normal standards. But now, I am. I have to admit, I'm addicted to Hydroflow. I can't drink anything else. Yeah, man. I got my um. I got my Hydroflow like two days ago. I've already had like four scoops a day. <laughs> mate, mate, you turn up night watching, watching, watching telly and it's better than squash, isn't it? It's so mate, good. Hydroflow, mate, pineapple. That's what I was literally just about to say. Pineapple, bro. Pineapple, pineapple, orange soda, and cherry. And mate, orange soda is goat. Orange soda. Pineapple, cherry, and then berry. That sort of thing. incredible. To be fair, we've got watermelon right now. And I'm, again, I don't really like watermelon. And it's good. Yeah. Good. Tell you what, as well, because um, obviously I've been using the products for the last like two or three weeks on the sly. Mango carb drive slaps. So good. So good. Um, doesn't give me any digestive shit, which is nice. Not that, uh, to be fair, my gut's pretty fucking solid. Uh, unless I'm just slamming perform way all day, that's, that's when it's not solid. That's when it's wet, bro. Um, what else been putting? Like, I've been doing concoction, mango, um, carb drive, mega pump. Um, can't remember the flavor. I've been using strawberry laces. No, no, that's conviction, which is really good. Strawberry oh, laces, mate, incredible. I'm not a stim free guy, man. Mega, mega, I don't use convention much, but the short race is great. But mega pump on its own, grape is well nice. It might be grape to fair. And then essential, essential gains, um, berry. Oh. Mixing all that in, a bit of salt. Jeez, okay. So you want the orange soda hydroflow with the mango carb drive is mega as well. I can't do that. That is mega. But I agree. Oh. I honestly, guys, one of my favorite. I, I, can't drink much flavoured stuff in true because it makes me want to throw up like doing legs and drinking sort of dead sweet but mango car drives quality i'm the same i can't like i can't drink like legs a sweet sweet I've sweet got, it makes me yeah, yeah, mid-workout i don't drink eaa's i shot them mid-workout um i've shot them oh, <laughs> um, it's nice because I, I feel excited again yeah do you know what I mean? And look, me, me and Rick, me and Rick had the big heartfelt chat, which was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life. But you know, is you, you know, best mates understand best mates, and yeah, you know what do, do you know what I mean? He has his thoughts and feelings on it, and that's absolutely fine. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we're still, we're still like that. That's all that matters, man. Yeah, and that, like you know, I'd say that's him. What you know, the only thing that matters out of this is that we we go away from it, and we're still. Top G's. All that matters. But now exciting things to come. Exciting yeah, things to come. Yeah, makes, and makes it sense. is, it is officially two days until Team CBC have their one year anniversary. Oh fuck it, yeah. bro. I didn't know what you were gonna say then. I thought I'd missed a fucking event or something. Wow. <laughs> I'm giving you two days. Right, two days we've got the Team CBC meetup. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> got to a seminar? What? Where? Well, um, yeah. 
two days until I still remember that, mate. It's just crazy. Yeah, that is pretty mad. You have to dun, 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 put some mate. sort of poster. You know, that's not my forte. You know it, seems, it seems longer than a year. I can't really remember not being working together. Agreed. It, it seems ages, mate. Ages. It does. I think back to like shows last year and they feel like yesterday, but when I think about being part of Team CBC, it feels like ages. That makes sense. Yeah. It has that effect. So, Kim, I know you love Canva. You have to do something. I fucking love Canva. <laughs> you <laughs> love Canva. You love it. You're good. You at and it. Canva are like this. I Photoshop me. It's negative. Photoshop I'm, I'm, for I'm, us. A, I'm a proper. I'm a proper. It's even a word. Graphic designer. Man. I might have to try and do a some descript. Yeah, two what, days. What? Huh? What did you say? Oh, I'm going to have to do some sort of reel, mate. Like, put some pictures up and shit. Emotional team. Hit hit the clients where it hurts. Emotions. Hit the nerves, isn't it? For fuck's sake. To be fair, first podcast as well went down well. It's in like 500 views. In like... Yeah. I just checked. Yeah, it's done decent now. Yeah, it's probably going to like be about 100 average now, though. Nah, this is where we're going to keep... To realise how shit the first one is. Well, we didn't even say hello to Tim in this one. <laughs> Get recorded. Fuck, you know. Yeah, um, so... yeah, how long have we done there? About 40 minutes? I think it's a little bit... Yeah, for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. That's, maybe. that's enough, though. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's me done for the night, that. Let's, let's leave it there, boys and girls. But... Um... What was I going to say? Um, <laughs> just remove that from the chair. <laughs> uh, inclusive thoughts. Um, yeah, so episode two done. Uh, we are all currently onboarding new clients for the month of August. So, man, just hit us up in the DMs, bro. Hit the just, link, uh, bro. Hit the link. Hit the link. <laughs> hit the link. Hit the link. The, oh, hit the link. It, it does that. Um, takes you straight through to WhatsApp. We'll send you some info. You tell us the goal. We get you there. Let's get it. I think, to be fair, a lot of the times, like people don't quite because they think we're full. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Team never full. Team, honestly, it is. The team's never full. And if it were full, it, we're not to full. Send all the 12 week transformations to Tom. Never full. 500 clients of 12 week transformation. Oh, buzzing. I can't wait for the next one for that, to be honest. I was yeah, we need, we need to um, think about I thought I wanted to do like a Christmas one, and I've already thought, like, for the real, I'm just going to like put a Santa outfit on something. Ho, ho, ho. No, not her. <laughs> <laughs> G's in the background, absolutely shaking her head. Uh, this is not a good off. business move. Mate, I'm trying it for the reels, babe. For the views, for the track. Not you, babe. Yeah, I'm not, not you, you, babe. I'm here. <laughs> straight to bed after this podcast. Yeah, I'm straight in the. I'm, I'm sleeping in the cabin outside, mate. No creamy for you. No creamy for you tonight. No dark chocolate mixed with creamy. Just plain creamy. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No toppings. Come on, no <laughs> toppings for you, Christian. <laughs> Just put your hand in the in the screen and say hello. Why? Bring the creamy over. Special guest appearance. He's going to get the views going wild. Okay, every we need actual creamy review. What is tonight's creamy on the menu? G's just said I need to pay her for an appearance. Wow. wow. Yes. Um, I haven't got much to offer, but I can take my clothes off. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Negative she's left, she's right left the room. Um, you know, that, would have, that would have boosted views. We could have put special guests as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, we could have a special time. guest. No. Creamy connoisseur. Yeah. <laughs> creamy queen. <laughs> yeah, that's creamy. Queen creamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Yeah, she wants to make the creamy, so we're going to end it now because it's the loudest machine in the world. No toppings for you tonight, though, Chrissy. I'm sorry. Man, I'm getting nothing. No creamy nothing tonight.
Just a slap in the face, bud. Um, so wish me luck. Um, thanks for watching, if you did watch it. Um, I was about to say, I'll send this through to you now, but that's what I say on looms. I'm going to send this through to you now. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.